Welcome back fellow YouTubers to Schumanator's Garage. I'm back here again with the John Deere LA-115, the old John Deere here. Um, I was having a problem with it. Uh, it would start just perfectly every time. It'd run like a top. Um, as soon as it got a little warm, if you shut it off, even just to pick a stick up out of the yard or something like that, uh, it, it wouldn't start again. Uh, so I did a little bit of research on it. Um, I tried cleaning the carburetor out and stuff, and apparently, um, what can happen is uh, is with ethanol and in the fuel and stuff like that it can just kind of deteriorate the the carburetor passages and things like that so this is the old carburetor i was just going to clean it out this is a fuel solenoid here um, i was just going to clean it out so that looks fine um, but i had some trouble you can see it's pretty i mean it's just kind of used so <laughs> it was it was pretty corroded and stuff and had a hard time getting these screws out that hold the carburetor bowl. Um, so while we were trying to uh, just hold on to it tight like this so that we could get a really good torque, a ridiculous torque with the uh, screwdriver, um, we snapped off one of these needle valves. Uh, at the time didn't even really realize what the heck it was till it flew onto the workbench. Um, but basically you can see it's it's like this one here it's a screw with a uh, just a brass i guess needle valve or whatever it's made out of and a spring and uh and this plastic thing is just a cover for it i guess it just snapped right off just from the force of trying to hold it still while we took this apart um so i i took it apart to look at it anyways because I thought I might have to get a rebuild kit or something. It's just a plastic float in here. So it's not even original. The original one, I believe, would probably have a brass float on a lawnmower this old. Uh, the brass jet had fallen out. Um, so I was having a bad day. And in the midst of my going crazy, decided to look online and see what I could find. And over here, I found this whole carburetor rebuild or carburetor kit. I believe they called it a tune-up kit. Um, it was on Amazon.com. It was about $25. Um, it came with a complete carburetor with everything, um, including the fuel solenoid already installed. I didn't have to put anything together, um, except obviously, you know, installing it on the vehicle. Uh, this is the box it came in. It came with a fuel shutoff valve, which I am planning on installing in line uh, that way in the future I when I shut this off or if I'm gonna store it or whatever you can just shut off the fuel while it's still running and you can completely run the carburetor out of fuel uh, which is a good idea so you don't have that ethanol in, infested uh, fuel junking it up um, it also came with uh, some hose I'm guessing that's some type of spring tool I don't know don't need it uh, some clamps and things Oops. Came with several clamps, came with a fuel filter, um, so I gotta find that fuel filter and install that as well. Yeah, I'm not even sure what, I guess that's uh, some type of sp spring tool. And that's a cable clamp. So that's pretty neat if you need that, I guess. Um, so it came with more than I need, but you know. Um, also, believe it or not, it came with a air filter and a pre-filter. Um, all for $25. So, I mean, you, you can't beat that with a stick if it works. Uh, yeah, there were some reviews. The, the Amazon reviews weren't that great um, as far as there weren't very many. Uh, but, you know, I looked up probably what's the same kit on eBay, and there was a lot of good reviews. So, I'm going to try it. Um, we'll see. Some people say you just put it on and fire it up, and it works. Some other people say you might have to do some adjustment on it. Um, so as for now, I'm going to fire it up, see if it works before I go ahead and start changing out the fuel line and putting in the, the, the uh, shutoff valve and stuff like that. I want to make sure it works. So this is fresh out of the box, still dry, freshly installed. Uh, it did come with the gasket that goes in between this uh, uh, intake and the carburetor itself. It did not come with the rubber O-rings that go here or here. Um, I did take this off too so I could just check it out and uh, clean up the inside of the, the cylinder port a little bit. Um, so that gasket was good. This one was a little bit flattened out, um, but it should work. I put a little bit of O-ring seal on it. Should be just fine. 
Uh, this is just for the uh, for the air cleaner intake and everything. So for now, it should be okay to try to start it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, try to start it up. It may take just a, a minute because there's no fuel, um, but I already tested the fuel pump prior, so I know it works. too soon. Let's try that again. There you go. Running great. I like that. So it seems to be running pretty good. I got to figure out though why the throttle didn't seem to be making it go uh, speed up or slow down, increase or decrease the RPMs. The choke worked, um, so that was good. That little bit of stutter right at first was because I left the choke on. So this is with the choke off again. I'm fairly impressed for $25. So that's my review of that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the oil because I know there was fuel in the oil and uh, I already put a spark plug in. So I'm going to put in these shutoffs and, and, and fuel filters and stuff like that and, and work on the uh, throttle a little bit and uh, we're good to go. So uh, the part number, I don't know if it's on this box. Is that upside down? Oh, there's the part number. Uh, like I said, I got this particular one on Amazon. So if you have any questions, leave it in the comments section. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Have a great day.